All right, now we've got to do this again. So here's our equation. We have heat of vaporization. Are we allowed to have it in kilojoules? No, go ahead and make the conversion. Okay, normal boiling point, that's gonna be T1. Are we allowed to be in Celsius? No, we need to be in Kelvin, 273 plus 80.1. So that's gonna be 353.1 Kelvin. At what temperature? So we don't know what that is. That's gonna be T2. Does benzene boil when the external pressure, so that's gonna be P2, is 445 torr. What do you know about torr? Torr is stupid. We put millimeters in mercury. Okay, so now let's set this up and plug and chuck. So natural log, P2, we know what P2 is, this one, 445 put milliliters of mercury, they're gonna cancel out. P1 is always 760. That's what normal here means. Okay, there we go. Equals negative delta H, 307.20 joules per mole, over R, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. One over T2, we don't know. Minus one over T1, 353.1 kilowatts. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit trickier here. It's not that bad, okay? So I'm gonna work from the left-hand side of the equation. Again, the rest of this is just algebra, set it up. Set it up correctly with the right units. That's the most important part here, okay? I want you to do the math right, but this is not specifically a math class. All right, so let's take natural log 445 over 760. Good, so there's an answer. Negative 0 0.535, okay? No units on that one. Okay, did I get that right? 445 divided by 760. Okay, now we need to just start undoing things. All right, um, let's go ahead, let's go ahead, um, let's go ahead and clear this. So negative 30720 divided by 8.314. Again, you can do this several ways. Uh, I'm going to just say this, um, 3695. Negative 3695. And what's left on this is inverse Kelvin. 1 over T2, 1 over 353.1 Kelvin. Okay. So now, why don't we get this... Oh, I forgot my LN. There we go. All right. It's not a negative. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I messed myself up a little bit. Okay. Yes. So there's my negative 0 0.535. Okay. So now, it's like, what am I doing? Okay. So let's take negative 0.535 divided by negative 36.95. All right, there we go. That gives me uh, 1.448 times 10 to the negative fourth Kelvin equals 1 over T2 minus one over 353.1. Oh, that's Kelvin, that's Kelvin up, so that's per Kelvin in the bottom. Okay, again, just keep track of the units. Put them on at the end if you need to. Okay, so now we're trying to get, we're trying to solve for T2. So let's add this to both sides. 
You see Kelvin's are both in the denominator, so it'll be okay. So let's add parentheses 1 over 353.1. Okay. So 1 over T2, 0 0.00298, 1 on per Kelvin. All right, but that's not T2, that's the inverse of it. So what we need to do is we need to flip it upside down. So to flip it upside down, we put this negative one power. There you go. So flip it upside down. And that gives me three thirty six. Or minus 273, 63 degrees Celsius. 